in my mods database, I've added a new category called tools, and I've added my own scripts there. Now it's trivial to install them. In the game main menu, select mods, download mods, search, type in tools, and press enter. Hold shift and double click three of them. Then release shift and double click on the last one. They are now ready to use. You don't have to load them as mods, but if you do, there will be demo missions available in the mission editor. I'm going to briefly show you how to use them. To start any of my scripts, you have to execute file called startsqs from the script folder. Let's start with the setpos in game, which is a tool for placing objects. On the first run, it will ask you to include required dialogues to the mission. Click OK and reload the mission. In the lower right corner, there's a question mark button. Click on it to display the list of controls. I'm going to add some new objects using the Insert Object menu. I select the object from the list and hold left click to move it. X and C on the keyboard to rotate it. Hold Alt to rotate slower. I have finished placing, so now I select load safe position, click on the list, type name, and click on the save and convert. Back in the mission editor, I insert a radio trigger, click on the activation field, and press Ctrl V. In the preview, I activate the radio option to load the objects. To export the objects to the mission SQM, I select Load Safe Position, then switch type to SQM, and select Save and Export. Then I reload the mission.
Next is in-game script editor, which is a tool for editing text files. Just like last time, you have to execute start sqs, and then include the dialogues. Once you launch it, a window with list of files will appear. Press F1 to display controls. Press Ctrl N to create a new file. Name it and press Enter. Then enter again to edit it. F1 to show controls. Simply type some text and press Enter to save it. Now let's write a proper script. Press Ctrl Enter to save and move on to the next line. I restart the mission, and my script is working fine. Next is Flashpoint Cutscene Maker, which is a tool for creating camera scripts. Press F1 to see the list of controls. I hold right button and move the mouse in order to move the camera target. I press C key to keep the target on the ground. Then I use WASD QZ to move the camera. I select the next segment and then disable target, because I want the camera to keep looking at the pump. I slow down camera movement by holding Alt or Shift. I right click on the interface to show the menu and select Add New. I unlock target and position because I want to move the camera and its target. I hold both right and middle buttons to move the target away from the camera. I type a number in the wait input to add a delay, so that the cutscene doesn't end so abruptly. I move cursor to the top to reveal another menu, and select export. Then export again. I go back to the mission editor, 
and add another radio trigger. In the On Activation field, I type in Exec Cutscene SQS. Now I just use the radio menu to play the cutscene. The final tool is Mission Editor 3D, which is a work-in-progress script for placing objects. Press F1 to show the list of controls. Just like with set pause in game, you select objects from the list on the left. Number keys to zoom out. Hold left click and move the mouse to place the object. Hold both left and right to elevate it. Changes are saved to the Mission SQM. To see them in the Mission Editor, you have to reload the mission. You can also add new objects, but first you have to build a list. Press right-click to open the menu and select Read Add-on Config. This will take a while and might not work with every add-on. Once it's done, you can pick new objects from the list. Alternatively, Press right-click and select Search Object List. Double-click to add the selected object. Press C to place it on the ground. If you double-click on the object in the list, a Properties menu will appear. For example, you could change its class. These were all the tools. Enjoy!